Aloha everybody, this is Gigi from Kauai Community College. This is a, an application problem of the derivative of inverse tangent. Um, inverse tangent, I think, turned out to be a pretty useful um, function in terms of talking about rate of change and derivatives. So um, this is something that you want to um, memorize, right? The derivative of inverse tangent. All right, so um, suppose you have, um, suppose you have uh, this problem here, and it has a T on it. This is a problem in your textbook. Um, it has a T on it. That means it's a graphing calculator problem. And um, so anyways, the scenario is a boat, right? And then a person observing it up on the top of that building that is 100 meter tall. And um, yeah, that looks like Waikiki to me. Um, so anyways, if the person is looking at the boat and as the boat is moving away from the building, that angle theta is getting smaller and smaller, right? Um, however, if the boat is moving towards the building, then the angle would be um, bigger, right? Can you, can you kind of visualize that? Okay, the question is asking, what is the rate of change of the angu angular size d theta dx? So the change of the angle with respect to that distance, that horizontal distance x, okay? Now, when the boat is out at 500 meters from the building, and then part B is asking you, when is that change the greatest? Okay, so um, part B, we're going to use a graphing calculator. That's why this is a, um, a graphing problem. Um, however, we could do part A, and I think part A is more interesting than looking at um, a graph and try to figure out where, where it increases the maximum. Anyway, so here we go. Uh, when looking at this right triangle right here, okay, this right triangle here, we see that um, here, this angle right here, is involving opposite over adjacent, and opposite over adjacent is going to call for tangent. So tangent of theta is 150 over x, um, and in order to go and solve for theta, we would have to use inverse tangent. Okay, so this is why this is an application of inverse tangent function. So uh, theta is inverse tangent of 150 over x. That's basically just the definition of an inverse function, right? Okay, now, that's the function that we're going to look at, and what are we going to do with it? We're going to go ahead and take the derivative of the left and the right hand side with respect to x with respect to x and that's that's um that's a big deal right pay attention to that when you say take the derivative take the derivative with respect to which variable in this case x we want to know the change in theta over the change in x now um remind ourselves of the derivative of inverse tangent x is uh, 1 over 1 plus x squared. That's something that we have just learned in the previous video. Um, so on the left-hand side here, when we go and take the derivative with respect to x, we will have d theta dx on the left. And on the right-hand side, this is our input. So that is what goes right here, okay? That is our x right there. Um, and then the input is a function, so the chain rule will apply, and this is the derivative of the inside function. So chain rule will apply. And how do we do that? Um, that is y is equal to, let's say, um, if we write it as an exponent, it's 150 raised to the negative 1 power. Move this down, that derivative of that is 
negative 150, x to the negative 2, and x to the negative 2 get to go down, and that's why we get this right here. Okay, and then we simplify that by clear, clearing that complex fraction, and we will get this right here as our derivative function. Now, the question is asking what happened when x, what is the rate of change when x is 500? So when x is already out at 500, what's going on? So we'll go ahead and uh, evaluate the derivative at x equals to 500 and then simplify. So plug in 500 right here and then simplify that fraction. Okay, um, so it is decreasing at negative 3 radian per 5,450 meter, which is not a really good um, thing for us to visualize realistically. Um, so let's go ahead and do a little unit conversion uh, and change that into degrees because usually uh, when we are talking, we would be describing the change of an angle in terms of degrees, right? So in um, trigonometry class or geometry, wherever you learn this, um, you would say, okay, so, and as we visualize uh, this uh, Waikiki scenario here, um, that as, as the boat is moving out, as the boat is moving out, the angle is changing, and how does it change? Okay, that's what the question is asking. And so a little unit conversion will give us negative, and remember 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radian, right? So that will give us negative 0 0.031 degree per meter. Now, um, if that's not something that you can visualize, you can actually change this, um, multiply this by 1,000 because a meter, um, 1,000 meter is one kilometer, and so you'll get something like one, two, three, like 31.5 degree per one kilometer. And and if that's uh, make your brain think a little bit better, then that's awesome, right? So that's basically, that's the real, the mathematical answer is this. The real life answer is that, okay? Uh, so in part B, uh, the question is asking look at for you to look at the graph um, and really the graph is kind of tedious and you wouldn't want to do that by hand but um, when we graph it uh, the solution look like this um, it the change is greatest and, and it's kind of hard to see because the number are, is really small um, but the change is greatest uh, when when um, when 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 x is uh, when x is zero, like that's like really rapid change, and that um, changes one, negative one over one fifty, or negative zero point zero zero six seven radians per meter. Um, so again, I would want to in this class focus in part A um, rather than um, part B. Okay, but that's sort of the, the direction, part B, is the direction that we are heading into next, is looking at graphs. You, um, and, and that would be part of an application of what the derivative would tell us.